Can you hear me okay with this? Yeah, I can hear you good. You're, you're good. Welcome back, Piglets. Uh, this is Chapter 64, Dragon Ball Super. Um, as you can, well, you can't see him probably, but the only person that's here with me is Daniel currently. Uh, we're going to go over Dragon Ball Super Chapter 64. Uh, a lot kind of happened in this chapter, which is kind of cool. Uh, first and foremost, obviously, we're kind of feeling the after effects of Mirrors, you know, disappearing from the universe, basically, like from existence. And uh, I, I thought it was kind of interesting, and I kind of hated it at the same time. I got, like, you sent me a text message saying uh, something about Frieza, and that's actually something I'd said to uh, my Black Nerd group that I don't like that it was, like, a comparison to, like, Goku when, with Krillin that first time around with Super Saiyan. That's kind of what it reminded me of at first. Like, oh, man, my friend's dead. Like, I'm about to, like, unleash his power or whatever, right? This was a little different, obviously, though, because he controlled himself. That was the interesting part. And they talked about it controlling himself. Um, did you think this was going to happen a different way or something? Because it's always usually like an emotional outburst, right? Yeah, exactly how it always is. There's no surprise to me at all that somebody had to sacrifice themselves or Goku to get serious. It was it's it's ridiculous at this point. I must they keep regurgitating that fact that like, I'm only going to be serious unless you die. So <laughs> go ahead and roll with me here on this one. You know, it's, 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 I, I don't understand it. I mean. Even even with him sacrificing himself, I don't even see how he, how he would get so upset to be like, okay, now I'm gonna go serious because you know this nigga with Jada. And then, but um, but I can't. I I, I really want to see Goku finally like be serious from from start all the way to the end without somebody after dying. Because if you were being serious in the beginning, when I'm pretty sure you could have unlocked Ultra Instinct from the jump, but here you were being how you were, and this dude is dead. Or erase, whatever you want to call it. He's gone now because he didn't want to be serious from gay. Like when you think about it, there's no real there's no real reasoning as to as to why Goku is using Master Ultra Instinct all of a sudden, you know? He like freaks out or whatever and then like kind of controls himself and then all of a sudden, bam, you know, he did this huge wave of energy and now he's mastered ultra instinct all of a sudden, you know. But there should be like like re realistically speaking, especially if it's like an emotional control thing, it's like your friend dying did nothing to you, like like uh, like like to affect your power like that. Zenkai boosts aren't a thing anymore. They they already reached that limit. Your emotion, your your being super angry is not gonna get you there. Basically, is what they said. So it's like, what what could Mirus being gone have done to Goku that made it so that he all of a sudden can can freaking uh, master Ultra Instinct? I mean, they weren't even like that good at tight of friends or anything like that. They were just straight up. He met he met the dude like, like three weeks before that, and he was talking about hey, come train with me, which was kind of weird. Um, yeah. He pretty much showed up like hey, he wants some candy. Let's go train. Um, but and I, I really like the fact that he um, he calms down. He he controls his emotion because we saw that in the tournament of power. You know, when he finally unlocked Master Ultra Instinct, you know, he took that real deep breath. You know, he got it in his real. He was Zen the Scout, Zen the Scout, he, on his uh, Big Sean tip type of thing, and I, I really, I really enjoy that aspect of it because usually it's just straight up anger, straight up going wild emotions, and you know, and we've seen so many mistakes happen because of that. Um, so I'm, I'm really excited to see like how far he really is into this, um, just because we saw how, how good he was against Jiren. It wasn't even like you know the full power. This is supposed to be the full power right now. So immediately, I'm already past tomorrow, and I'm going to rematch with Jiren right now. Score up. <laughs> rematch with Jiren right now. Yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely interesting, too, considering the fact that Jiren, you know, he's lost the jewels, so he can't steal powers. It doesn't look like he can really change anything. Um, he didn't bust out any moves that I haven't seen except for, I think, regeneration. That's the only thing that I saw from him uh, while pretty much Goku was manhandling him. He, uh I mean, what else? Like, he, he tried to use magic really quick, and that didn't really work. It kind of worked against him because, like, he made some lava shoot out of the ground for a little bit, and then Goku was just like, psych, and threw him on the lava. He got all jacked up for that. But, I mean, it's kind of crazy that just, like, Beerus and Whis continue to watch this guy prosper or, like, get better. And and that's, like, a complicated, uh, like, uh, relationship to me. The fact that, obviously, Whis is, like, the retainer for Beerus, whatever. He's supposed to... Uh, it's when he's stronger than Beerus, but he kind of like does what he wants him to do or whatever, or listens to him, follows him around and stuff like that. And then, but at the same time, while Beerus is pretty much alive because he's the god of destruction, 
he is kind of looking for a predecessor and believes that Vegeta or Goku have what it takes to kind of be it, you know? And this this puts him in a this put pretty much puts Beerus in a, in a similar situation that um that I forget the freaking god the clown that's a god instruction for uh what is the universe like the, the universe that Belmont. is it yeah Belmont it puts him in a similar situation where there's somebody in your universe who's stronger than you who is not the god of destruction so what is it about the god of destruction is it like a mantle that's passed on like what like there's um I don't know if you're familiar with Yu Yu Hakusho or anything like that but uh, Genkai, she has this thing called the Spirit Orb, and she passes it on to Yusuke. And like once he does, once she does that, she loses like a bunch of her powers, and like Yusuke gets all those powers that she basically once had. So I wonder if it's something similar to that, like whatever, whatever it is. Well, well it can even be that because freaking we saw uh, Topo you, like access the, the power, like the the Destroyer God power. But it's so it's like no, no, no. I feel like you feel like it was just a transfer. Feel like you can access the power. No, no, you, you, I feel like it's, it's definitely a, the title is something you can pass over, but you can access the power, though. But as far as the title, because as, as soon as you pass over that title, the old God of Destruction is supposed to die because he's like 900 years old out here, you know. So he's going he's gonna to die. But Goku doesn't really fit the type to be out here being a destructor because he's so kind-hearted and gentle. Uh, Vegeta's definitely going to be the, path, the one that gets passed over to to the God of Destruction because, you know, he definitely had enough of an evil streak within him to be like, I don't, I don't really care about destroying you right now because you're weak. Um, that's never going to be Goku. As we can see, he's over here, uh, he's over here trying to give Moro a chance again. It's just like, Bro, he said, you're Yasu not going to turn him into Frieza. <laughs> he said, y'all sent him to death, right? And he was like, yeah, could you just do us the favor and just handle it for us? And he was like, okay. And he just rips off his little galactic patrol part of his uniform. And he's just like, all right, well, I'm just gonna handle this as an Earthling, and it's just like, what, what does that mean? Quit, quit trying to make these guys like you. <laughs> Let him kill him. You don't destroy this man because he destroyed all the Namekians and you and Vegeta. He, he out here not caring. He was going to eat you guys, and you're going to let him survive. Are you crazy? Yeah, that's the same. As soon as he said that in the manga, I was just like, yeah, he's gonna kill Earthlings too. So. You might as well, you you killed everybody else as an Earthling. You might as well kill him too. Like, you don't even, like, let him, don't even let him. You killed Frieza two times already. Like, knock it off. Even Beerus um, was like, the, the last thing Beerus said was, I got a bad feeling about this. And it's just like, bruh, he has tried so many times to make some. The only time I ever saw him really go all out to kill something was against, I feel like he tried against Cell, but he was, like, still having fun. And then Kid Boo, same thing. Like, he did it but he was still just having fun. But if they were like people who couldn't regenerate or something, I feel like he would not go as hard as he does. Like he would fight somebody. He would, he would fight like with like tournament rules, basically. He wouldn't try to kill them. He would just try to incapacitate them. However he could like knock them out. They're so weak. They can't really move or something, but he's not like, he out here probably capable of obliterating galaxies and, and probably a little bit further than that. But he wants to just be like, nah, bro, like just chill out. Stop fighting. Put the, Put the guns down, man. Like, that's, he's on that type of energy, you know? Like, <laughs> Yeah, Vegeta's over here like, let's fight. Let's save the world. Let's save the universe. We have to destroy him. And here come Goku. Can't we all just get along? And it's just, it's, it's completely ridiculous how, how these things went. At the same time, it, it, you see why he, he's so loved by everybody. It's because, like, dang, you didn't really have to save me. You didn't really have to be easy on me, but you did. Um, but I, I can definitely agree with the beer saying I have a bad feeling about this because not only every time I say this, this new level of power, they get this new level of cockiness too at the same time. The and same then that's when they learned over and over again. Right. And that's, and that's when they always have a mistake and something else and somebody else ends up having to die. And then they're like, okay, for real, we'll be serious now. We saw the same thing with Gohan when he was fighting. So he had enough power to beat Cell, got super cocky. Then Goku had to die and Trunks. Then you're like, okay, let's do this. It's just you could have we had the power to do it the entire time, and so I do have a bad feeling about it. I have a feeling he's gonna like someone's definitely gonna get sacrificed again. I don't know who it's gonna be. It's probably gonna be Gohan because nobody likes Gohan apparently. Um, or Vegeta's or Vegeta's gonna show up and be like, oh, uh, let me get my last little crack in because you know you were taking too long. He's gonna get killed. Um, so. It, <laughs> I can't wait to see them like whatever happens after this. I really hope it's it's a uh, it's a fight with like the two of them really working together. Not quite so much as like they've done here or against Broly, 
but like the two of them, like two v one. Like I, I'm really waiting for that moment because they still haven't yet. They they fused and all that, but I, we still have yet to see them really like gang up, except for like the Terminal Power when they fought like the those wolf guys and they're like a little animal universe or whatever. They kind of did a they you know did the freaking final Kamehameha or whatever fuse their attacks together and that was cool, but they don't really ever try to go you know two v one, which would I feel like of, of course it would it would always work in their favor, you know. Well, not always because they they don't. They don't ever fight with each other. I mean, when even when we were fighting Jiren together, they were like, it's only working because they're so terrible at fighting together. So that's the only <laughs> way it was throwing Jiren off. So I, I, I feel like they're, they're just going to get in each other's way for the most part if they fight together. And Goku's at a level, if he's mastered Old Jiren, he's at a level where Vegeta's just going to be in the way. Like, just oh, yeah, sit down. You already sure. yeah, yeah. sit down and be humble and just and watch the real King of Saiyans get this done. You know, we gotta, but, uh, we're going to have to get something then for Vegeta. He's going to have to show us something. I mean, this whole spirit, this, this force spirit uh, fusion or fission or whatever, that was good. He learned, looks like he learned, you know, teleport. But I'm sure we're going to have to see something else. Maybe he'll go back or maybe he'll finally. I know you've been, you're the one that wanted to see him go to uh, uh, Planet Sadala, right? Yeah, I definitely wanted to see him show up. And I, I can, the pride, the same pride in me is wanting him to just walk around normal and just have everybody talk smack to him. And he's just like, oh, yeah. <laughs> he just goes super saiyan on everybody, super saiyan guy. He just like takes everybody to school and all that. And then I, I, I was kind of hoping he did that before they got to meet like Khalifa and Kale and all that, because that would have been real interesting to see them just turn super saiyan, super saiyan two right in front of him and be like, yo, what is happening on this planet right now? Um, I, I really want to go to Planet Sadala and have the king look exactly like Goku and just see how, see how Vegeta would take that. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, this uh, this chapter is kind of obviously segueing into some pretty good content. Hopefully we're going to see some some more action with Goku utilizing uh, Master Ultra Instinct and kind of knocking more around like a ragdoll some more. But I'm curious just to see what happens, what what he's actually going to do um it would be a shame you know obviously the the, the most likely answer is he's going to try to befriend him or like are you going to have a change of heart like stop doing this evil or whatever and he's going to get hurt or something but hopefully tomorrow or hopefully maybe we get surprised you know like that'd be awesome you know it's, it's a new day he's got you know new people working with him maybe maybe we'll get a little bit of a surprise and actually like oh shit this is kind of good you know I, I, we were uh, a group of mine was talking about the turn of power today, and he was like saying, "Oh, so people like people really hate this or whatever," and I was like, "No, like I don't think people hate it. Like when it was going on, people were like all over it, you know, like oh shit, turn on the power, this is dope, you know, like look at this, look at that, you know, Vegeta's new form, Goku got Ultra Instinct, oh man, Master Roshi tears, you know, like there's all kind of stuff. But when you look back on it afterwards, especially if you watch like a tons of other anime, you're just like, damn, the writing in here is not the greatest." But it's like it's nostalgic and it's like good for what it is. It's typical shonen like beat 'em up stuff, you know. It's like you don't watch it to be like, this is the most complex like thing I've ever seen. It's so profound. It's like it's otherworldly, you know. It's like no, I mean it's it's a bunch of aliens fighting each other, you know. Like it's it, for what it's worth, it's great, you know. And 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 even though it, most of the time it's definitely like super linear and and uh, you know you don't really get too many surprises or anything like that, it would be nice. And I would hope that maybe someday in soon. It would real short here you know like next chapter wise maybe we get a surprise and something does change but you know we won't find out until next time obviously but um i don't find know. out next time on dragon ball super <laughs> oh man yeah i mean that's that's pretty much it that's that wraps up chapter 64 and until next time guys uh we have been culture by the uncultured later <laughs>